Hello friends, I'm Akash and a hearty welcome to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe for more videos every time I upload. So let's take a look at our first example to really get a sense of this trick. 13 divided by 3. And the immediate thing that I want you to notice about this is that 13 is not divisible by 3. This means that if you try to divide 13 by 3, you're not going to get a whole number. There will be some decimals after it. So in order to figure out what these decimals are, we have to use this trick. And there's only one quick thing that you really need to know about this. It's that one third is equal to 0 0.333 and so on. In other words, this is equal to 0 0.3 repeating. The three will go on forever. And likewise, if we do two over three, that's equal to 0 0.666 indefinitely. In other words, it's equal to 0 0.6 repeating. So basically what this means is that these are the decimal expansions of one third and two thirds. And those are the only things you really need to know for this trick as we are now going to see. So let's head back to our first example of 13 divided by three. I'm just going to draw that out here. And immediately, the first thing that we want to do is find the closest multiple of 3 without going over to 13. So in this case, the closest multiple of 3 without going over 13 is 12, because 12 plus 1 is 13. So then all we have to do is rewrite 13 as 12 plus 1 and we'll write over three. And now, the only thing that we have to do right now to finish this trick is to just divide. 12 over three is four, as we already know. That one is divisible by three. But the other thing that we have left is now one third, which as we have seen here is just three repeating. As we've seen here is just 0.3 repeating. And so, all we have to do is just add that to our total. And that's the answer. 13 divided by three is in fact equal to 4.3 repeating. So let's move on to our next example. So now, as we can see here, we are on our second example, 29 divided by three. And I've already written down the initial fraction here. Now, the first thing that we have to do is find the closest multiple of 3 without going over 29. And in this case, that number is 27. And so all we have to do is repurpose 29 as 27 plus 2. This is just a renaming of the original fraction. It's the same thing. But now we have the extra benefit that all we have to do is just divide. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing here. First, we have 27 divided by 3, which we already know is 9. Then, to fill in the rest, we have 2 thirds, which, as we can see here, is 0.6 repeating. So, as we can see here, once we add that into our total, we have our final result. 29 divided by 3 is 9.6 repeating. So now we are on our third and final example. 38 divided by 3. And again, the first thing that we have to do here is find the closest multiple of 3 without going over 38. And in that case, the answer is 36, which is 3 times 12. And then we can finish it off by repurposing 38 as just 36 plus 2 over 3. And now we can divide. So we have 36 divided by 3, which as we already know is just equal to 12. And then to finish it off, we have 2 thirds, which is equal to 0.6 repeating as we have already established. And so to finally have the answer, we now see that 38 divided by 3 is equal to 12.6 repeating. And that is the answer. Now that you fully understand how to easily divide any number by 3 in just 5 seconds or less, it's time for some homework. Calculate the results of 16 divided by 3, 31 divided by 3, and 44 divided by 3. 
Make sure to comment down your answers in the comment section below, and for your convenience, the correct answers to each one of these questions will be in the description below. Thanks so much for watching. Love you, Akash.